Hey guys, it's Jonathan Boucher from PlayGuitar.com. Today's lesson is going to be a little bit different. We're not going to actually use a guitar, um, but I wanted to show you how to create a MIDI jam track, which can really help you in your practicing. Why would we want to create a MIDI jam track? Because they don't sound quite as good as one that's you know made with real instruments. Well, there's a very good reason for that, and that's the fact that we can instantly change key or tempo and the whole track just follows along and sounds good or fairly good so I wanted to show you how to do this because I've been working with this a little bit um, I learned a, a, you know I wanted to learn a, a fast riff and so I learned it at 50 beats per minute and then I gradually incremented it up 60 70 80 90 100 all the way up to 130 um, although I'll probably end up playing it around 100 or 110 and um, but because I practiced through that threshold all the way to 130 when I play it at 110 now, it feels very comfortable. And I thought, wow, this is pretty powerful. I'm going to show other people how to do this too. So I'm using Logic. Um, you can do this with other programs. The process is more or less similar. Um, I also have uh, Addictive Drums, which I like. I'm just using them for the sounds, but you don't need to use that for sounds. I'm just going to create a, a track here. Uh, we're going to call this drums, okay, and we'll create another one, and we'll make that like a, a fretless bass, sure, why not, right? Okay, you can lose the library here. Now, drums. To get a drum track, I'm going to go over here and do addictive drums, go to my beats. Now, I've got a few packs of midi packs of drum beats and stuff that I've collected over the years that I like using. I'm just going to pull one of them. Uh, you can get, like, I, I've got them from different places, but, uh, like, um, Groove Monkey is a great place to get some some cool tunes. Um, here we go, Groove Monkey. Uh, let's go down here to... Let's take a medium shuffle. That's going to work. We don't want anything too complicated because if you speed it up too fast, then the complicated starts to get annoying. Uh, yes, we're going to import tempo. All right, close that out. So what we've got going on here is you can quickly see there's something happening there's a little drum fill here at bar two and then we've got four bars there's another little fill and then we've got from 12 we go up to 19 so that means this here is our 12 bar so let's let's uh split that and i'm going to nuke that first part and i'm going to nuke the whole rest of the song all i want is a nice 12 bar shuffle let's hear it Great, and we got to fill at the end. Let's just kick this tempo back to something slower, like 70. All right, lots slower. Now we need a bass line. So, oh, I'll show you quickly. If you wanted to change this, you can do that. Um, you go in here to the editor with the, you know, the scissors, and you can change up. These are all your drum sounds. Okay, this piano keyboard, every single key is linked to a drum sound. And um, so this can give you an understanding of, you know, how drum beats are are created. Um, so that's kind of cool. But I'm not really going to go in there today. We're going to build up a bass line quickly, hopefully. Let's go to bar one, and we'll go in here. So... Let's, uh, we're going to make this a 12 bar blues and I'm going to make it an A. So that's my starting note right there. Um, C, D, E, F, G, 
Sorry, that's G. A, B, C, yeah. Sorry, my keyboard knowledge is not exactly stellar. Um, now, something very important to know is that this just looks like a whole bunch of squares, right? Well, let's break it down. First off, we got one, two. So this is bar one. All of this is bar one. Um, and this is, you know, bar two, right? It goes on. And this three is there because that starts the three count. Okay, so we got one. So this is the quarter notes within bar one, okay? So that's one, that's two, three starts here, four starts here. We get here and we're into the one beat of bar two. Okay, so that means that we've got 16th notes. I've got 16 squares giving us 16th notes. So we can basically assign notes to anything we want. And if we want, you know, a, a whole quarter note, we would have to drag it out. And then we can put it on whatever note we want, right? So I don't want a quarter note. So we're going to create a shuffle here. And um, if you don't know your fretboard and all that stuff, don't worry about it. Just sound it out, okay? Start with something that sounds good. So we're going to do that, all right? Uh, I'm going to put this one bar on loop. It's easier to work with. Pull the drums back. Okay, we're slowly getting somewhere here. Now I know where I'm going with it, so I'll just do that. So I'm doing a longer note and a shorter note, right? Okay, I just changed over to uh, Liverpool bass. Instead of the fretless bass, it was sounding a bit warbly. Let's hear what, it, uh, what our one bar sounds like. Okay, not too bad. Certainly good enough for now. Okay, now, 12 bar. We're going to work with this, okay? we got 12 bars here, you know, 4 times 3, 12. Uh, we've got 4 bars of the 1 chord, 2 bars of the 4 chord, 2 bars of the 1 chord, a 5, a 4, a 1, and a 1. And that closes out our 12 bars. So, let's do this. This is the beauty of MIDI right here, my friend. Copy, paste, paste, paste. We just did our first four bars of the one chord, okay? Here we are at five, paste. Now we've got to bring this up to the four chord. So what is our four chord? We got A, B, C, D, right? So we got to bring, if we think of this as a, a rhythm riff, we got to bring that up to a D. Shift the whole thing up. Let's hear what that sounds like, starting on bar four. This is the one. Not bad. Okay, so that works. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to drop in an extra bar of the four chord. And then now we need to go back to the one chord, right? So we're going to go back here. One. Remember, this is from bar four, so that's still the one, right? Come up here, bar seven. One. Perfect. Second bar. Now that completes our eight bars, okay? We've just done two more on the one, so we've got two bars of the four, two bars of the one. Now we need a one bar of the five, four, and one, one, okay? Um, yeah. We'll just take that and we gotta move it up to the five. So we're in A. So five is one, two, three, four, five, which is E. Five. We need 
four, and then one, one. Oh, and we got 12 bars. Perfect. All right, congratulations. We have now created our drum beat with our bass rhythm. Um, so now, for instance, if you want to isolate any part of this, <clears throat> one little trick that I like to do is uh, let's just go up here, and you can break your your 12 bar into into colors. Why not, right? Um, so. If you wanted, you could give all of your, you know, the ones. We go up here, show height colors. Let's make all the ones orange. It's a really aggressive orange. Um, four. Now we'll leave that green. One. We got to go back to orange. Now we got a bar five, so we'll make that like I don't know, pink. And this one is green for four again, right? And then one, we're back to orange. So <clears throat> you could pick your own color scheme. I just made that up on the spot. But this tells me now as I'm practicing this, right? And you can loop this 12 bar. That orange bar up the top there means it'll loop uh, just perpetually. So now I can look at this and visually I know that, hey, this, this section here as we're playing through, you know, you follow the cursor here. This whole thing is is the one chord. When I hit green, it's going to be the four chord, the one chord, the five, the four, the one. Um, that could be handy as you're going through, right? It's kind of like a just a, a moving chord sheet for you. And that applies to any key, right? Um, now, I mentioned that we can change key with this. So let's go in here. Let's shrink it all down, okay? So all we do if we wanted to change key is select all. I went command A or you know you can just do this. That sounds fun. And say we want to go from A into B. Voila. It is in B now. Isn't that great? Now, what about if we want to practice at 85 seven beats per minute well we can do that no problem uh, we go up here to the tempo and we go 87 and now we have our jam track in B at 87 beats per minute and say you wanted to really just practice the last four bars with a turnaround or something like that no problem go up here just select that there's your five, there's your four, and here's the one. And it cycles back around there exactly where you've set it. So put all that together. That can be a very powerful practice tool. So hopefully that was useful for you. Have fun. Oh, and I will give you the this file, this MIDI file. Um, I'll save this or something, and I'll make it available on uh, PlayGuitar.com. Uh, let's say at PlayGuitar.com slash MIDI. Uh, go there. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, the link will be underneath the video. You can go there. You can download this if you have the same software. It will work for you. And um, have yourself a great day.